Hi guys, uh, this is a layout that I created using the Studio Calico Central High, which is the September 2012 kit. And uh, that's a picture of my daughter in um, one of my local scrapbooking stores. It's actually not too far from my home. And uh, the lady who runs it also rescues cats. And uh, so every time I go, my daughter wants to come along to see if uh, Christy has any new cats to to uh, visit with. So um, I'm just starting with that piece of uh, striped paper which is by Studio Calico. It's the Numero paper. It has those large numbers on the back side of it and uh, then I've used that chevron paper which is by My Mind's Eye and then the piece I'm using right now is by Tim and Beck. The white and gray polka dotted paper. I distressed all the edges and outlined them. Um, although, oops, I did not outline the chevron paper actually. I outlined everything but. And now I'm just layering them together. This is a super quick layout that I did. Um, and I actually stuck it down and then I'm going to take it off because I forgot to do my splatter. And so I'm using Overdue Mr. Huey's and um, what is that one? Mr. Huey's Overdue Classic Tan and White. And then now I'm just uh, drying them. And figuring out where I'm going to place my photo. I want to put some washi tape strips at the top and at the bottom. And so uh, I can never remember what company makes the washi tape that I use. Um, but they're pretty widely available. And I'm doing something different with the washi this time. I want to make it look like it's not stuck down. And so I'm using my sweater to get some lint on it so that the edges of the washi tape will roll up. Just for a slightly different look. And I did that with all of the uh, edges of all of the washi that I used. So I'm using a silver graph washi tape. And then I also use the hearts and clouds one and I used another one that has hearts in teal and red and then I used a bit of that American Crafts glitter tape that came in a, in a kit I think that was in the March kit from Studio Calico and I still have some left and I'm using one of the tabs from this month's kit and then I've got some uh, wood veneer shapes and I'm just inking them with my Jenny Bolin ink the red ones in cough syrup and the uh, star in um, lemon drop and now I'm going to put the date on. Actually, I'm not putting the date. I'm just putting Happy Place. And Happy Place is using the smash stamp. And then I'm just going to put the row of dots from the Dear Lizzie roller stamp. Because that's my happy place, <laughs> the scrapbooking store. And it's Livy's happy place too. You can see the scrapbooking stuff in behind in the background of her. That's what I love about that photo. Um, and so I did some sewing over some of those, over the glitter tape and also over the layers. And I did the sewing in black thread and I used a straight stitch as well as a zigzag stitch. And I did a bit more along the bottom and I left the threads hanging on the top but I ended up cutting them short on the bottom just because it was too much so it was just too much distraction with the black thread but I liked how that thread looked kind of hanging down the right side of the picture so I left it there put a tiny bit more stitching uh, over both parts of the washi tape one using a straight stitch and going back and forth and then the top one I did a zigzag stitch just cutting off all my little threads and then because I didn't back stitch I'm just putting some glossy accents to secure those stitches so they don't fall out. Um, this is a layout that I might put on display in my house so I want to make sure that it's a little bit more durable when I put it I just display it on um, plate holders. And so now I'm using these are Amy Tangerine letter stickers that came in the kit and I'm spelling out the word scrapbook scrapbooking and I'm also going to spell out the word kittens with the gray letters and I'm calling this layout scrapbooking and kittens um, although there's some journaling in between those words 
And these letters are really cute. At first I was a little disappointed that they were so tiny, but I think it's nice to have a different size letter than what most of my letters are. Uh, that was the first ampersand in black that I could find and I didn't like it. So I went back and got this one, which is from the, I think it's called Delight. Yep, Delight Thickers. They're foam and they're nice. And so here I'm just kind of experimenting with how I'd have to write my journaling so that it will show up in the right places. Just making sure that it's all going to line up before I put it on my layout. And so I'm happy with the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead and transfer those letters to my layout, which is actually really hard because those those stripes are not 45 degrees. So they're really distracting. So that's why I just used my ruler and ran a, ran a line underneath. And I ran my line just a little bit, a smidgen underneath where I wanted my letters to go, just to make it easy to erase it. I didn't want any of those letters to be on my line, or else it, obviously when I went back to erase it, the line, because those letters are see-through, um, you'd see the line. So scrapbooking and kittens and look you can see all those spell binders in the background <laughs> and uh, my daughter just in love with those kittens. They were three week old kittens and they were so cute. Their names were Squash and Kiwi and they're just so adorable. If we had room in our family for another cat we would have had one except my husband would have killed us. So. <laughs> um, at the last minute, I decided to add an arrow. Wrong color, though. <laughs> I thought I could just quickly ink it with that red ink, and then I was like, whoa, that's totally the wrong color. So I went back and used the Overdue spray instead and uh, put a pop dot because the way that it hung off the layering, it was... Um, it needed a pop dot on the on the end part of it. So there are the close-ups. Thanks for watching guys. This one was another super fast layout. This one took less than an hour to do. Um, and so uh, thanks for watching.